simply, Bow is a chance for women to meet in a safe, supportive atmosphere with qualified, patient, and enthusiastic instructors. Getting women more involved in the outdoors, not being afraid to, you know, get their hands dirty. Um, you know, there's more than just hunting and fishing in the outdoors. There's the repelling, there's the kayaking, um, G GPS, um, trick track and trail, going and learning, you know, looking for birds or tracks of animals and how to get that great picture of that animal. Um, there's, you know, just learning more of the outdoors. There's just a great variety of things. Becoming an Outdoors Woman, or BOW, is a program started by Dr. Christine Thomas, Associate Professor of Resource Management at the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. The first BOW clinic was conducted in September 1991. And now, I don't know, almost 20 years later, it's still going strong. We have 80 camps across the United States and Canada. So it's um, just a really, really good program. It's a win-win for absolutely everybody. The Arizona workshop is part of the same curriculum, and each workshop is organized with the aid of the Safari Club International of Phoenix and the Arizona Game and Fish Department. The National Wildlife Federation and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation are just two of Bo's national supporters. The Arizona Wildlife Federation conducts Becoming an Outdoors Woman in three different events each year. Twice a year here and then uh, in the usually January, sometimes the first week of February we do one at Saguaro Lake Ranch and that one is all about the Sonoran Desert. That one has a little bit better dig so you know, you know there's a, it's a B&B &B type and uh, a little bit smaller group. But that one's all about the desert, and that's what we're trying to get them to learn, how to live and play and learn about the desert. But we have a lot of people that, never, that haven't lived here, haven't grown up here. And what's really sad, there's this huge disconnect. We have people that have been here all their lives, and they've never even seen the stars. And the participants are as varied as those stars. And I saw the article on Bo, and I you know, read a little bit about it, saw pictures of the ladies. My first impression was, you know, they're all sizes, shapes, you know, ages, so it wasn't particular. That's one thing that's nice about becoming outdoor women. It's not just geared towards an athletic person. You know, it can be a mother that has just all their, their birds in the nest have moved and they don't know what to do in the outdoors anymore or what to do with themselves. Um, they don't have to be, you know, great shape to do this. They just have to be enthused to want to learn. The oldest to date that I know of is 86, and her name is Charlotte Norad, and she's always been my favorite one ever. She was here with her daughter, her granddaughter, and there was, there was four generations all together. So that was a really fun camp, and that was probably, oh my gosh, eight, nine years ago. So I came here on the recommendation of a friend that has done the camp. I think she's done it several times now. But I also have um, four and a half year old twins mm -hmm. and I wanted to take them camping. I'm a single mom. So I wanted to feel like I had a little bit greater confidence to take them out there on my own. Um, and also that, you know, for their safety and, mm -hmm. and just enjoy the outdoors more and then also the camaraderie with the women. I thought that would be good to try. I mean, I'm, I'm really a homebody. I usually don't leave my house. I go to work and go home and that's it. And you know, people have been bugging me, you gotta go out, you gotta go out and do stuff. And I came across this and was like, okay. I signed up for it, I was really excited, but as it came closer, I started getting nervous. But, um, you know, nerv I was really nervous coming up here. I kept saying, I need to back out, <laughs> I don't wanna do this. And I got here and everyone has been awesome. Everyone says hello to everybody. You know, and it's like they don't care what you look like, just go and have fun. That's what I'm doing. We get basically two types of people here. We'll get the people the people that are never been out there, kind of afraid. They're like, oh, you know, maybe I want to try this. We make it comfortable for them. So they'll take classes like, I'm lost now what? Uh, GPS. I'm, um, wilderness medicine, those kinds of things, survival, because they're always afraid they're going to get lost. And then they come back, the same people, and we'll see them the next year. They're taking warm water fishing, they're taking camping, or maybe even, yeah, maybe I want to pick up a firearm, maybe they'll take a, a safety class and go out to the range and shoot the shotgun or the handgun or the rifles. So they come back at least, at least twice, and most times, three or four times they'll come back, and then we want them out on their own. 
While the program is geared to women, you'll notice this is not a man-free zone. Some of the instructors are men, but all of the instructors are experts in their field. Some are employed in the fields they teach. Others are experts in their subjects. Still others are Arizona Game and Fish and U.S. Forest Service employees with years of experience. Love the instructors, and that's the one that makes what becoming an outdoor woman the best is our instructors, and we try to go and get the best instructors we can for this camp. The instructors are all volunteers, every single one of them, and they come back year after year after the year. They just get, you just get sucked in because the ladies really, really want to learn, and they really enjoy it, and then that transposes right over to the instructors. And those instructors bring skills in gun safety, angling, camping, Dutch oven cooking, map and compass reading, marksmanship with rifle and bow are taught. You can choose from classes in wildlife photography, wildlife habitat, bird watching, canoeing, kayaking, and rappelling, to name just a few. Bow is not meant to change any minds. There is no plan to turn every Arizona woman into a hunter. I don't need them all to become hunters and besides that I need some tags myself. It's hard to get big game tags here but I am not. I want them to understand why we hunt and I want them to know that um, it is a it's not really a sport it's a tradition and there's a reason why we why we do it and uh, I just want them to respect that. This is for beginners but it's also a good place for more seasoned uh, ladies to come out because you're gonna find like-minded women. We have a lot of women that will get together after these camps. They'll go uh, camping with their families or they'll go on hunting trips together um, and uh, would let them know that there's a lot of resources out there for them now. I have always been resilient and self-sufficient to some extent and I think it's just really upping my abilities to continue to do so and then also to, to be you know that much more in, enabled and confident and um, being able to try new new adventures and new endeavors. Yeah! You can learn more about becoming an outdoors woman by checking out the Arizona Wildlife Federation website at www.azwildlife.org. Look for Education Bow.